Mary Barra is continuing to come out swinging. In spite of the fact that General Motors has only delivered less than 8,000 electric cars in the first six months of the year in 2022, she claims that they are actually still on track to beat and overtake Tesla in 2025. Now, this is what she said recently, in fact, within the last 24 hours. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. It's a relatively new channel. We've only been around for a year now, but it's been an amazing trip. You know, it's been hard work to deliver around six videos per day, but I've really, really enjoyed it. Why? Because I believe in it. I believe EVs, electric cars, are the solution. Not just electric cars, though. I actually recommend, if you can, sell your car and don't buy another one. Sounds crazy, right? But I'm serious. If you're in a household where you have two cars, yeah, that's the proviso, right? If you're in a household with, household with two cars, sell one of them. Get an electric bike. Get an electric scooter. Get whatever. You'll save so much money and it'll cost you so much less in the long run. Then invest that money into BYD, Tesla, Xpeng, Neo, whoever you want, whoever you believe in. The industry, you know, nickel funds, lithium miners, you may be able to make, if you say invested the, say, $50,000 that you're going to save over the course of five years, 10 years of doing this, well, imagine what you'd end up with after that period of time. 100, 200,000, who knows? It's a lot of money though. However, let's get back to Mary Barra. Now, speaking of sanity, the same thing to do, right? would be to be logical about approaching a situation, not to let our emotions dictate the way we see something. Now, a lot of us are brand fans. There's a lot of General Motors brand fans in the US, which is fair. It's, a, it's an American company. I understand that. And in fact, I consider myself a General Motors brand fan as well. I'm not a fan of their CEO though, who I believe is saying some outlandish things in order to maybe avoid any criticism of her current pay packet, which is one of the highest in the world of any CEO. And I do find it strange that she's saying that executives at General Motors should be compensated based on their actual electric vehicle performance, when in fact, her own performance as the head of this company has been pretty poor for the first six months of this year, and even worse for the 12 months of last year. Now, Barra believes Tesla can still be taken, lose their crown to General Motors in this segment. Despite selling less than 10% of the, of the electric cars that Tesla has sold over the past 12 months, Mary Barra said that GM can still sell more EVs in the US than Tesla by 2025. Now, the thing is, this might be realistic and possible if we were talking 2019. Let's just rewind the clock a little bit. Let's say she was saying this in 2019 and GM was really getting ready to do so. Okay, but we're only two and a half years away now from 2025. These numbers coming from General Motors are starting to look more and more like the kind of lies we heard from Trevor Milton at Nikola. And the irony here is that General Motors actually decided to go into partnership with Trevor Milton and Nikola. I believe Trevor Milton might be in jail right now for fraud. But the irony is they went into partnership together, even in spite of the hundreds of YouTube videos warning General Motors, warning the public not to get involved with Nikola because they were making claims that were clearly false. I mean, what did they do with their truck? Towed it up a hill, rolled it down, and then tried to convince us that they had a working vehicle anyhow. Mary Barra's comments are, well, I guess admirable in the sense that, you know, we want EVs to be promoted. So she's doing that for the brand. She's definitely encouraging EV adoption in the US, and I can't fault her for that. That's a good thing. Now, Barra said in an interview, that just happened with the Associated Press that she remains confident that GM can up, unseat Tesla with higher priced specialty vehicles and said it would beat Elon Musk's EV company to high range EVs at prices that are attainable for mainstream car buyers. Now on the same day, General Motors released a Chevy Blazer electric car, which does have a very good price considering its size and range. Now I make a video about that. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. 
to really get to 30, 40, 50% EVs being sold, you have to appeal to people that are in the $30,000 to $35,000 price range, Barra said. GM, according to Tesla Rati, have started a number of initiatives that would effectively give the company a lineup of electric cars that can accommodate buyers from all works, walks of life. So basically GM saying, well, because we're going to have a, an EV for every range, we'll have a cheap EV, you know, for a small hatchback, we'll have a cheap an affordable sedan, we'll have a more effect, well, affordable small SUV, we'll have a mid-sized affordable electric SUV. We're going to cover off every single niche. We're going to have like 50 different electric cars. I think it's 35 actually. Lots of different models. That's why we'll beat Tesla. But I don't think it's the number of models that matters. It's producing many hundreds of thousands or millions of those vehicles. And that is the hard part, which is going to be made even harder by having so many models in the first place. Now, GM has pledged to cut the starting price of the Chevrolet Bolt to $26,000 later this year. And they're planning to roll out an Equinox SUV with 300 miles of range for $30,000 US dollars next year in 2023, which is frankly amazing. And you know what? If you guys can get one in the US for that price, that's awesome. What an opportunity. A Chevy Blazer electric SUV is going to be priced from $45,000. And that's a size up from the Equinox. Now, considering that the the lead that Tesla has and the momentum of old rivals such as Ford in the electric vehicle sector, GM seems to be betting on a variety as a key to its strategy, as I just explained. Now, Barra says that the EVs that GM are unveiling and releasing now are only the beginning, as there's more to come amidst the company's efforts to offer 30 battery electric cars globally by 2025. That means Essentially, GM has to release another 25 different EVs over the next two and a half years. Sounds very challenging and very difficult to me. Hopefully, they pull it off. What we have coming, it's in the heart of the market. Now, Tesserati said this, an attack on the mainstream market may be a good idea for GM as a strategy to catch up to leading EV makers like Tesla today. But even with such a strategy, attaining Tesla's level of production today and overtaking Tesla, by the middle of the decade, seems incredibly optimistic at best based on the numbers I shared with you before. Less than 8,000 electric cars have been built and delivered by General Motors over the first six months of this year. That is a tiny figure in comparison to Tesla. And given that GM's electric cars sold less than 10% of Tesla's estimated United States sales this year, GM would have to hope that Elon Musk stops innovating, Tesla stops growing, they do nothing over the next two and a half years to have any chance of approaching even the close range that Tesla is currently delivering in terms of total numbers right now. Add to that, everything would have to go perfectly to plan for General Motors to pull off this absolute Houdini. Now, could I be wrong? Uh, you know what? I often say at the end of a video, I could be wrong. And it's true. There's a lot of opinions that I share with you guys where I could be wrong. Here, in this case, a lot of you are not going to like this because I know there's a lot of General Motors fans who hate hearing this kind of stuff. I'm not wrong. There is no possibility of this happening uh, unless there's some sort of, I don't know, global catastrophe, a tsunami co comes and wipes out one side of America and Tesla's Fremont factory and wipes out Texas and everything else is left in America. You know, I mean, I guess that's possible. But avoiding, I mean, but assuming that some kind of catastrophe of that nature doesn't happen, then this is simply General Motors fantasy. And to be honest, one has to claim, one has to say, is Mary Barra marketing for GM or simply making up fantasy stories? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Once again, though, I do want a Silverado electric car. So please, GM, make more, make more, make more, make more, and bring them here to Australia. Thank you for supporting the channel and have a great day. Bye-bye.